Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Wow! Oh, that's a little freaky. Hi! Oh! Haha! <laughs> Noisy down here. Okay. Hello! This is what I've been doing in this big hole. And it's noisy because I've got uh, observer clocks here. So let me uh, see if we can do something about that. I think. Yeah. There we go. Turn off the block sounds. The observers stop making noise. So this is going to be a wool farm. In progress. And a lot of work to be done yet. But I'm going to put sheep in the, the little areas down here where they can eat the grass. And then I'll go up. And I have minecart, hopper minecarts down there to go and do their uh, collect all the stuff. So if I drop a couple, it gets picked up. And then it pops back up. Um each corner on the oops on the right hand side the clockwise side will be an item elevator that'll go up to the top so I'll collect all the different ones and then i have a little rail here so on a mine cart i'll be able to come along with clippers and go clip 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 and get the sheep but i need sheep so i built this big spiral uh, mine cart rail it goes down and normally it goes it's in this position and it goes all the way down to the bottom so I can get in and out. Uh, but I put in a little branch right here. It'll push off over here. And with this, I can put some sheep in there. So let's go get a sheep. Hi, guys. See, I got a bunch of sheep here, including this guy here who wants to go with me. Uh, oh. Look at that. And off he goes. So I put in a line here. It goes all the way over to the farm and it should go and deposit him onto the little ledge that I want. And all the sheep over there are white. I can dye them when I when I get them all in place. Figure out the how many I want of each color. And I'm thinking each uh, each little ledge. Woo! Plop. Look, I got a sheep in there. I figure each little ledge will be a color and I will have at least at least one hi dude okay you go that way now let me go turn on my hit boxes and figure out how to get you out of there without hurting you oh it's gonna be tricky oh that worked minimal damage hi pretty cool now I have a sheep in here now I can go get another one and I brought some carpet with me just so I could get out. Well, usually works better than that. Ah, there we go. Cool, let's get another sheep. Hey guys, who wants to go next? You wanna go? Ah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get both of these in place and then uh, then I can reroute to another layer, but I need to build up some more. But let me show you what uh, we've got here. Cool. So now I've got two sheep in here. I can take this out. Let's get back my carpet, my escape carpet. Boop. And so, yeah, now we can, uh, I can dye these guys whatever color I want. And then I can clip it. I don't have any clippers. I should have brought some clippers with me to demonstrate that the uh, item elevator works. But if, I showed you over on the that side. Uh, but basically, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and take out you. Boop. And let's put... I didn't need to take out this guy. Pop. There we go. There we go. So each layer with the sheep will have a rail that runs all the way along and it spirals its way up. And I have to raise up two blocks in between layers 
so that everything would fit. And down below, got a hopper minecart rolling back and forth. A couple hoppers leading into a dropper. And then I have a little observer clock going there that will push anything that gets picked up in here in out of the, the dropper and push it up through the top. So basically, I just need to repeat this all around, all the way up. And I should have at least 16 uh, layers, 16 sets of sheep. I can breed these guys up if I want more than two. So I can have two or more of each color. And all I have to do is ride along a, a cart, mine cart, down and with the pair of clippers and go clip, 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 clip. Yeah. That's what the plan is here. Uh, so I'm just working on it. It'll be a, a TV, bad TV exercise, but uh, pretty straightforward. And I think that's all there is to show here, at least at the moment. We will get more uh, later. I have, whoops, I, I want to keep this. Uh, yeah, so I've got I've got a few boxes of supplies down here, but nothing too too critical. I've got you know the the supplies I need to make each layer. Should probably hang on to that there, and uh, I can get out of here on a minecart as well. Ooh, it's a crazy roller coaster. take me all the way back over to where the sheep are. But I don't need to. And I can just leave it there where I had it. Bloop. There we go. Cool. Alright, so that's that's that. Uh, farms are going okay. I've got seven shulker boxes full of sugar cane. I've got a bunch of you know, squid ink here. Which is helpful because I'm making, uh, that's a lot of squid ink sacks. Uh, I'm making the glass for the item elevator out of uh, gray. So it requires the ink sacks. I got a bunch of cactus. Need to figure out what to do with all this. But, uh, oh, and while I'm working over there, I think I'm too far away from the um, sugarcane farm. So that the sugarcane, hi. The sugarcane isn't growing. Uh, it, you have to be within, I think, 120 blocks for the random tick to happen. So, uh, so this while I'm working over there, this isn't producing as much as it might be. So, anyway, cool. Next thing, having the white concrete on the floor over there in the fortress does actually make it easy to spot what's there. So you can see from over here if there are any wither skeletons to go and slay to see if we can get any more wither skulls. So over here, I just walked past the portal to the spawn area, to spawn island. And then this is the portal to Risk and Seas place up here. And I extended the, uh, the nether network a little bit. I moved the exit door over here and I put a little Put a little porch so if anybody wants to head out I uh, risk and see expressed interest in being able to explore the nether he didn't like the fact that the network was largely sealed so I, I put a door over there but it was right there and I wanted to extend the tunnel down this way this portal was a mistake I put it in the wrong place it goes to a random place in the middle of a forest. I need to go explore that and see what's there. This, however, goes out to the witch, where the witch hut is, where the witch farm is going to be. And it's dead of night. Come on, load, load, load. Come on, you can do it. <sighs> Nice phasing effect on the portal sound. Come on. Why are you taking so long to load? Ah, there we go. Oof. 
I have a bed. <sighs> Hang on a sec. So here's the witch hut and soon to be the witch farm. I cleared out a lot of the land around here. This, the swamp, little swamp islands. And I cut down a bunch of trees and I'm starting to clear things out. I need to decide a few things about like what design I'm going to use and how I'm going to kill the witches. Um, but, and I need to go around and dig up. There's, there's little batches of clay here and there that I want to dig up. But uh, I don't necessarily want to have to clear out. Oh, more. Uh, oops, more lily pads. Uh, I don't necessarily want to have to clear out a full 128 block radius because that'll get a little tedious because that's past the shoreline over here. But if I if I'm able to have my uh, AFK spot up above high enough, it should be okay. Especially if I don't have to drop the witches too far to kill them. So, uh, but that's, that's what's going on over here. I haven't done a whole lot. I've just been clearing out stuff and so that things don't spawn other than the squid. And then I've been lighting up some of the land around try and keep stuff from spawning around there um, yeah so haven't really made too much progress here yet but that is where the witch farm is going to be it's only one hut but it shouldn't be too bad I love the way the water you can see the water here this is a, a river and that's swamp land so the hut is actually right on the border and uh, <clears throat> I also need to do a caving, uh, clear out some caves. As I was clearing out the little swamp islands, standing about over here, I heard a witch cackling at me. And I had to make sh come over here and make sure that there was nothing inside the hut itself. Uh, so there are probably caves not too deep right underneath here. So I'm going to have to go down and light those up and uh potentially block them off i need to come over here and start cutting down trees and lighting over here because i don't have much in the way of torches already on these shores so that it doesn't get too dangerous uh as as i'm working out here It'd be nice to get it safe enough that i could work around the clock as it is right now when it starts when the sun starts to go down i have to run back inside to the little bed inside the cave over there um, but that's that. So anyway, uh, oops, short little, short little update. Not too much else going on. I've got, uh, a trip that I'm going to have to go on later this week. Sorry for those noises. Hey, look, a little batch of, uh, tulips here. This wouldn't have to be a flower forest, would it? Nope, planes. Huh. Boop. I have not explored much over here. Oh, look. Wow, Got a lighting glitch. Uh, there is a ravine right here. So some of those caves that I suspect to be underneath the swamp here probably start coming off of that ravine. Uh, okay, well we've got we got a lot of work to do, but it'll be fun, and then we'll have a uh, then we'll have a witch hut, a witch farm, which will be great because we'll have all the glowstone and redstone that we want, and more more sticks than we know what to do with, more sticks than we know how to have can shake a stick at. Yeah, that was bad. Hey, look, a little cave here. This might get us down into some of those caves. Or not. Very nice. Oh, this might. That could be dangerous. No, that looks fairly self-contained, too. Okay. 
now I have to figure out how to get out of here. Okay, well, I think, as I said, I think that's it. Uh, I will update you, of course, as this progresses. Ooh. But not much to show at the moment. And there we go. Cool. There we go. Well, thank you for watching. This will be exciting as, as it comes along. And I will show you more as it progresses. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye.